Hello, in my Dice Mania videos I noticed that I actually I skewed one very important die and that's the D2 uh, coin. And in this video I'd like to design a 3 print a coin with the most common binary question and that is... Yes or no? <laughs> that's correct. I prepared very simple design for this coin it is a cylinder which is 2 mm thin and 30 mm in diameter and I added the yes and no text. High of the text is 0.2 mm so this coin is optimized for 0.2 mm layer height printing. And here it is. Uh, I have three issues with this version. One is the first layer it's a little bit ugly. I can see the holes when the bridging started so I need wider edge and I will add some more details to the graphics so the bridging has more support. That's one thing. The setting, second thing it's a little bit hard to read the letters because it's in same color and the third thing most important it's too light. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't even feel like a like coin. You know, it's not good feeling throwing it, you know, compared to the real coin. So, with the second version, I will try to correct these issues. I will add wider edge. I will add more details to the graphics. First and last layer will be in different color. And most important thing, I will try to insert the screw washer into design because it's very heavy it's even heavier than this coin and it's really good feeling throwing it so i hope this version will be much better okay let's do it and these are my design step for this new version i added some more graphics to the top and the bottom which is very useful not only because the the looks but also after the printing the first layer there will be the bridging and bridging will be better quality is if there is more support below that bridge and important is to see there is a hole where I will insert this screw washer so it will be more heavier give better uh, feeling of the real coin let's analyze the dimensions of this coin so the, the text no is 0.2 millimeters. I designed this optimized for 0.2 millimeter layer height. So the uh, no is 0.2 millimeter height. Then uh, I have three layers of the covering and then there is a hole for the washer. My washer is 2.4 millimeter high and then three layers of covering that means that is 0.6 millimeters and then there will be a filament change and the last layer is the yes text. It can be better analyzed in the slicer. So it will start with the text no on the as a first layer. And then it will be covered by bridging. Three layers of covering and then here starts the hole for the washer. And very important number 3.4 millimeters here I have to stop the printing because here I have to insert the washer and another important number is 4.0 here I had to insert the filament change because I want the text no and yes in the different color so it will be more noticeable and I generated the g-code for me it's easier to go to the prusaprinters.org uh, website where I can drop here the, the G-code 
and add a color change. So first is 0.2 millimeters after printing the text no. Next important number is 3.4 millimeters. Here I have to stop. This will insert the M600 which requires the filament change. I will change that code later. And then last important number is 4.0. Here I have to insert again filament change and uh, to print it in last color. Currently with this I inserted three color changes but, but theoretically the second one will not be the color changing only I will modify the code uh, because I need there only uh, stop the printing to insert the washer. I don't want the filament change there yet. Okay, let's download the code and let's modify it. Okay, modification of the GCAD you can do in, in any text editor. So let's search for M600 command, which is the film change. So here is the first one, but this is after the printing the text, no, I don't want here any modification. Fine, next. Okay, the second one, actually, uh, here I want to stop the printing, not filament change. So I will replace this with this text here. So this is not the filament change now, only stop the printing. And, and then I, when I press the button, it will continue with work. And there is another M600. This is before the yes text. I will leave this as it is now. Okay, I can save and uh, I can print this code. Scoring the horn now. And here it is, the final version. And all three issues are corrected, so the first layer is much better now because it has wider uh, edge. It's easier to read because the color of the first and last layer, the color of the text is different now. And it's really heavy, so it's, it's really good feeling. Only one issue, I don't know how to correct this with the 3D printing, is the sound. I'm not sure can you hear on camera the sound of the coin on ting when it's rotating. Even with the washer it can be heard. But this is silent. That's the only issue I have with this coin, but anyway I will have this always with me. So if I when I have to make some hard decisions. It will help me. Wait. 
I don't know, should I make some statistic with this coin? Let me check. I'm not sure how to solve this problem. Uh, I don't know if anybody has idea from you. Uh, maybe you can write me in the comment. Uh, one of the solution would be CNC milling machines, but I don't have that. I live in a flat. I don't have space for, for that machine. But I will, I'm curious if somebody tried the brass or steel type of the filament, does it give this feeling? So please write me in the comment if you have any idea how to solve this, because I am really missing that sound. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and follow me to my next video. <laughs> Bye.